Hello and welcome to Hob. I will be providing gameplay commentary for you on this blind playthrough. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I appreciate you checking it out. If you're new to Hob, I will tell you what I know, which is not much. Um, Hob was developed by Runic Games. Uh, they're the guys behind Torchlight 1 and 2, which you may be familiar with. If you're not, I suggest checking that out if, you know, ARPG, Diablo-type games are your cup of tea because they're really, really... Uh, they were a lot of fun. I enjoyed them quite a bit. They're a bit dated now, but uh, the art style from them is, is quite distinct, and it's something that they brought forward into Hob, which uh, I think suits the world quite, quite, quite nicely. Uh, we're going to jump right in here pretty quickly. Uh, I wanted to take care of some administrative work first, though. Um, specifically, uh, it took a while for me to get this sucker set up properly. Um, I had a couple of hitches during the initial recordings uh, with crashes and, you know, uh, the output not coming out properly. I think I've got everything sussed out. So, <laughs> fingers crossed, this is going to be the uh, the final cut that you will be uh uh, watching. So, uh, without further ado, I guess we'll jump right in. I think this is the title screen. There's no title, but, uh, you know, it's a it's a screen. We can select a new game. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, I, because I had recorded a bit and had to scrap some of that footage, I've played about 20 or so minutes of the intro. So, you know, a lot of this very, very, very beginning stuff I have already seen. Um, once we get to the part where I, it's actually blind for me, I'll make sure to let you guys know so that you're prepared as I am. But uh, for now, yeah, we've, we've seen this. We've, we're familiar with this guy. We've said hi before. Hi, how you doing? It's me again. And we've got our, uh, we've got our little buddy here. He's got a couple of tassels on the back of his hood. I'm not sure what those are. I just, I'm having a hard time. They're going to distract me a lot as I play. I can tell right now. Um, so we have control now. That's it. The game just basically drops you right in. There's no intro. There's no text. There's no dialogue. There's basically nothing. And there's our little friend there. Say hi. Or not. Whatever. It's fine. So we can jump around, and uh, it's very... Um... I don't know, it's got some platforming elements to it. So far, the platforming has felt pretty crisp. Uh, no complaints there. It's got a little bit of combat. Right now, I'm just kind of frolicking free of any cares or worries. It's quite nice. Um, there's a little bit to explore here. There's actually something up there to explore as well that I found. We'll have to come back to it because I can't do anything with it right now. Um, and we've got, you know, we've got a world to explore. We've got a lot of things that are confusing right now, like this little fist bump icon, uh, which I can't bump fists with, because my fist isn't big enough. I actually thought that you started the game with your uh, power glove, but as it happens, you just have nothing. So we've got another icon up there. So we're going to come back here. It seems to me like uh, this world is going to be pretty interconnected, I guess, or at least the game gives you a lot of reasons to uh, scope out areas you've already been to. Um, so that's going to be interesting. There will be a lot of cool things to explore, undoubtedly. I believe this is the save function. Um, whenever you save and load, it pops you out of one of these guys. And he's going to open up this door for us. It's a very weird door. I'm not sure why you would make a door like that, but... Hey, it's not my world. Probably it makes perfect sense to these guys. Now, I'm wondering if this is, like, the last of, like, a race of robots that lived here happily. I'm not sure about that. And there's a bunch of nonsense all over the place. Not the kind of stuff you want to, you know, walk through or touch. All right, big guy, what do you got for me? Gonna destroy some walls arbitrarily. I'm not really sure why he decides to go through here. Like, is there really no other way for you to get to where you're going? Like, how did you get there in the first place? I just, the questions, I just don't understand. Continuity game. Alright, so we're going to stick to this guy. There's not really very many areas that we can explore just yet because we just don't have the ability to, but, you know, 
similar to Hollow Knight, um, you'll you'll acquire upgrades throughout the game, I presume, and uh, you know things like this will start to have meaning, like the uh, high five symbol. I want to give it a high five, but you know, as said, I just don't have a big enough five to give it. Yep, lots of, I don't know, corruption, I guess. I'm just going to call it corruption. Why not? Sounds good. Another save point. This is where you start to see that you really don't want to mess with this guy because he just pushed, like, an entire stone building together. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty scary. I imagine this guy could, like, turn me into uh, a fine paste if he so desired. So the game's pretty straightforward at this point about telling you where to go. Um, I'm not sure... I said this before in what we'll call the Lost Recordings. <laughs> um, I wasn't sure if there, this was a linear game or if there are points where you can kind of choose to go one way or the other. Uh, it seems like once you unlock certain abilities, you have a little bit of freedom. But, I don't know. Let's go pat this thing on the schnoz. Make some friends. He's a friendly. Friendly guy. How's it going? He has four nostrils. That's about the only takeaway I have for you on that one. I can't tell if that's a good thing or a bad thing. No, oh, no. This is bad. This is never good. When stuff like that happens, it's never good. Alright, I need help. I need help. I don't need that kind of help. I don't need that kind of help. Uh, and then there's the credits. Ladies and gentlemen, the fine folks behind Hob. There's my arm. You're just going to leave it there? At least put it on ice or something? We could save it. See, this is the part where I realize that um, it's not a power glove. It's actually a power arm. Which I, I didn't didn't realize before playing this game. It's a good thing I, that I, this guy doesn't have a mouth. So I'd wager he'd be screaming at this point. Or maybe that's just me. I mean, I probably would be. Look at that. What a pal. He's the kind of guy you can rely on, rely on if you, you know, need an arm. Just be like, dude, I need an arm. And he's like, hey, here, have mine. Hob, the first... Well, I guess the start menu was technically taxed, but once you get into the game... Yeah, that's a really huge arm. Imagine waking up with that instead of a normal arm. <laughs> I mean, it's startling at first, but he pretty much takes it in stride. He's like, all right, I got a big hand now. I'm totally fine with this. Yep. Really big. Not a problem. I don't see any problems with this. Alright, we're done. We've already uh, kind of reconciled ourselves with the situation. That's alright though, because I'd hate it if he kind of moped around here for a few days. Crying about his last arm. That wouldn't be any fun. That would not be compelling gameplay. Alright, we are outside in the world. And... We've got a big arm, which means we can move stuff around. So I can move this around, right? Yeah. One thing about these is they're they're kind of stuck to the path. Like you can see there's these rocks. Although there's no rocks here. Yeah. It, it's basically on a path. And you have to... Which I guess is fine, because if it wasn't on a path, I'd probably waste an hour dragging it all over the place to see if there's some other area I could get to. That would also not be fun to watch. All right, yeah, there's my arm. Uh, can we? No, can't do anything with that yet. All we can do is grab things and move them around, which I guess is fine. So we'll bring this over here. There we go, man. I, I'm thinking like, okay, losing an arm is terrible, but if I had this as a replacement, I, I would probably do it. Judge me all you want, but I would do it.
Hey there, buddy. How's it going? Thanks for the arm, I guess. I'll just provide dialogue here for you. He probably also said something like, hey. Uh, take good care of that. It's been in the family for, well, since I was born. You get the idea. Alright, I got myself a sword piece. And I'm guessing that's another version, another person of the same species as Hob. I'm gonna call this guy Hob. I'm assuming this is a Hob. Maybe he is a Hob. Maybe that was another Hob. I don't know. See, he needs help now. You've got to help him open doors. That's a big responsibility. Uh, okay, we got a couple extra sword pieces. That's right. So now we're going to jump in here, and I'm assuming that this is a uh, hub, because... Well, you'll see in a moment here. So we have this, and I don't know what this is. Except I just walked into it. Is that like a save slot or something? I don't know. Anyways, we've got one of those. It's cool. You can hang out in there if you're not claustrophobic. But yeah, so we have this, right? And I guess this is an upgrade mechanism. And we have a few upgrades here. But we don't have any of the green ball thingies. And there's also the bronze looking semicircles i don't know they don't provide names for any of these things so <laughs> you're gonna have to bear with me on that one and then this is where we upgrade our sword so let's go ahead and do that this actually isn't gonna upgrade it it's gonna just make it period because we don't have one but i presume that you can bring more sword pieces here and maybe upgrade it further See here, I was thinking it was going to be like a, a huge sword, but it's actually still just like half a sword. But it goes like Transformers mode on you, so I guess that's okay. I like it. I'd have one. I'd have one. Alright, so we got a save. And we've got a sword now. So we've got a big hand, we've got a sword. We're ready to get out there and make use of them appropriately. Look at that, he's got a little bird friend. I just... It looks like there's a flower in his chest. I don't understand. Is that, like, supposed to be his heart or something? It's kind of cool, but I feel like it should be a little bit more protected. So yeah, we've got a sword, and we can... We can cut down these things. Um, sadly, no rupees. At least I haven't found any yet, but... Uh, that does let us go down here. I don't think there's... Anything over... No. Alright, yeah. So this is where I went next. So let's continue on. Uh, there's actually a jump here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember now. These give you uh, those little green ball things. Look at that. Enough to upgrade. Um, which is nice. There's only one upgrade you can buy. Which we might do, but... All right, so from here, we're gonna go over here and take a look. Maybe go down, oh, whoa. Oh man, caught myself at the last second. I don't know if you take fall damage. I've never seen fall damage, but. Um, I can't get through there. There's also this. You kinda just sit down and have a look drink in the grandeur. I, I really like the uh, the style so far. I feel like there's going to be some cool environments to explore. doesn't appear that that does anything, though, but there's an icon there. I don't know what that icon means, but I don't know. Uh, however, if you look here, we can do one of these side jumps. I don't know why, but that reminds me of Prince of Persia. And what? Can we... Oh, we can't jump that high. I was thinking maybe we could get up there, but... Yeah, because then you can get across. That would be cool. Oh, you can get up there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this might as well be blind because I can't remember the, the, what I had for breakfast. Much less the game I played just the other night. 
All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This makes sense now. So we're going to go over here and not die. No, we're going to die. We're definitely going to die. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's new. Uh, I didn't know that happened, so that's a thing. <laughs> All right, let's be a little more careful. Let's be a little bit more careful. All right, I think... Yeah, there we go. Well, I, I mean, I kind of figured that jumping off into the void of nothingness would kill you. So it's good to have that confirmed, but... I'm still not sure about fall damage. All right, now jump. There we go. Uh, yes, this way. Man, that giant arm is so handy. All right, we've got another save point, and we've got some. I have no idea what these things are. Frog dogs? That's what they look like to me. Frog dogs. Also, they like, explode into jibs. I think it's hilarious. Alright, what do we got? Oh, yeah, we've got, a, we've got an enemy over there. What's over here? Did I go up here? I don't think I did. This is another cool thing that I can't do anything with. I'm assuming that requires an upgrade of some sort. Alright, uh... Oh, we got a uh, high five. See, we have a giant glove, but we still can't do anything with that. That's fine, I guess. Oh, that's right. Um, so this is, I don't know what those are called, but that looked like a butterfly. The icon that popped up does not look like a butterfly, but the thing I picked up from that little shard there looked like a butterfly, so I don't know. Uh, a door, can't get through. I think I need the help of the big guy to get that open. He's trying to get in here. He doesn't look like a friendly fellow. Oh, nope. I shoot. I could have gotten a free hit on him, but <laughs> whoa. Oh no. Ow. Ha. Go ahead. And... Oh yeah. I got him. I got him. And we got lots of health back. So that's good. We got a couple of peas. Call them peas. And this is just a small door, so I can handle this myself. Alright, let's go in and do some exploring. We're officially past the part where it was crashing repeatedly on me, so I think we're in good shape now. Alright. Um, however, I have been through here, so... Kind of know what to expect. Um... Spooky cave music, always a good thing. Although, I mean, you can't beat the cave music from Mario Brothers. Especially Mario Brothers 3. Uh, oh, if I go down here, I can't go back up. Huh, all right. It's the point of no return. Oh, we gotta save, that's good. All right, so. Let's take a look over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is good. Uh, so this is an upgrade. So I'm, I'm wondering if there are, are a lot of these forges around the game world. And this is you have to find them to upgrade your, your hand, your power arm. <laughs> I would be really freaked out about this. Like, look at that. It's detaching and stuff. Like, how is that? What does that feel like? I like the part where they like actually put a little a new piece and attach it to the glove. Oh yeah. Awesome. So I believe no, that's okay, so that's attack, jump, dodge, and then we have power punch. We also have a little blue bar in the upper left, which I guess is stamina. So this says hold. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. So now when we see the fist bump icon, we can do uh, 
We can engage. Which is good. Alright, so let's get out of here. This looks good. There's a lot of bats in here. I hope they don't mind. I hate to wake you up. I'm, I'm not here to, to bother you specifically. Um, okay, so now anytime we see those, we can we can punch to get through. And there were a few of them that we passed up, so it's good to know. And these, uh, yeah, fist bump. Oh, yeah, this one is, uh, a jump smash. So already you can see that we've opened up quite a few, um, avenues for exploration. So it's quite exciting. Wait a minute. Uh, do I? This might be where I got, because I don't recognize this. I'm pretty sure this is where I, I got to in my last attempt at recording. So I think from this point on, this is officially, it's officially blind. Uh, no, we want to do this. Well, that's cool. That is very cool. Look at that. That pleases me greatly. Okay, so this lets us get out then? No, where are we? Let's punch this, though. Oh, wow. That is cool. Look at that. <laughs> uh, I can tell that's going to be really cool if the, the prevailing theme... Okay, now I... No, I still don't know where I am. I guess this is just a new area. I like the uh, prevailing theme of, you know, large chunks of the world moving and rotating as you get through them. That's pretty cool. Hey, my guy's back. Let's go, man. I guess I have to talk to him. So, how's that new arm treating you? I hope you like it. This is a line right here. It goes into this boxy looking rock thing. It's pretty cool. What do you think? I can see you're not impressed. No, it's it's cool, really. I should probably actually be paying attention. What did you just give me? Wait a minute. Oh, I have a map. Uh. Okay, so we've got a lot of icons on the left. I think the heart-looking thing that's vaguely heart-looking is... Uh, how you upgrade your hit points. Uh, the gear icon below that, I have no idea. Maybe that's energy. Um, the semicircle butterfly thing that we have one of, I have no idea. And then above that, I believe, is uh, weapon upgrades. And this, uh, is it a teleport? Or let's take a look at our inventory. So we don't have any sword pieces. And the butterfly pieces, I don't know what they're for, but we've got one of those. Uh... I don't know what this is, but it's kind of like more inventory, I guess. No, abilities. These are abilities. Oh, okay. So the uh, so the the peas are used for abilities, and the butterfly things, I guess, are used for abilities as well, right? I don't have any, so I'm just guessing. But so how do I? Can I go there, or I don't know. So you're telling me to do something with the teleport, perhaps? Uh, well, you just have a sit there, friend, and uh, just leave the exploration to me. Alright, so... Um, uh, how did we get here? Is this a way back? Yes. No. What is this? This is back to the forge, right? So this is new, too. What is this? That is... A... Teleporter? I guess? 
Well, we don't have any place to teleport to, so I guess that's cool. All right, the mail tube is uh, officially online, except we need more mail tubes to send ourselves to, so we'll have to figure that one out. Um, I don't want to go this way. I want to go back this way. We can go through here now. All right, cool. Man, there's going to be so many cool things now that we can do. Um, but let's focus. And uh, we can do this. I'm not going to go down there, but we'll definitely open that up. There's a robot down there. That looks cool. Uh, what am I doing here? We can also open that up over there. That's good. Um, we can also open this up. Look at all this stuff we can do. This is great. This is great. Um, what did I... What did I do, though? Like, what is this? Um, oh, that was a slide. <laughs> cool. Ah, this gets me to the other side here. That's interesting, but that was kind of like a one-way street. I can't get back now. That's not what I wanted. All right, we got to save, so let's maybe go up here. What is this? X? That too. Oh yeah, that's right. This is uh, keys. Twenty-two. All right, I like it. All right, well, let's not go down that way. All right. Um. Hmm. So, is there any way to perhaps no? And I can't go back. Is that right? Is that what you're telling me, game? Even if I nope, I can't go over that. Well, at least it doesn't eat me. Um, well, I may have been a little too... Ah, uh, I can't get through there. That looks like a teleporter thingy. I don't know. I may have been a little too expeditious here. Oh! Okay, he's not a friendly fellow. Okay, I see. Oh, yeah. You see that? Overhead smash. Oh yeah. You gotta be faster than that, man. You gotta be faster than that. Oh my god. Am I supposed to be over here? Let's, uh... Yes! Oh, oh, don't get hit by that. I wonder if that does more damage. Or if there's any reason to do that. Ow, that hurts. Okay, did I get him? Yes. I went for the clutch play, and it paid off. There's gotta be a way to do- Oh, crap! Let's get out of here! Oh, that didn't look like it did damage, so that's okay. Oh, that did damage. Alright. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're supposed to do something there. It looks like that, that pod looked interesting to me, but... Can I punch this? Oh, that didn't do anything. Alright, so we killed that guy. Let's kill this guy. Yes, just get right up in his face so he can't do anything. This looks like a thing that I could do something with. Oh, and there's a butterfly up there. Huh. Did I come from this way, or... No. What's in here? Yeah, more of those teleporter things. Tubes. Tube technology. I'm pleased to see that this game has it. Uh, unfortunately, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I mean, I'm not stuck, am I? Did I, like... I could use another, like, teleporter or a way to get around. Uh-huh. Alright. Well, let's go this way. Uh, let's see what's up here. This looks promising. Uh, that looks like something. Like, these things are connected to... S like, I feel like I need to do something where this connects to this somehow, but I'm not sure about that. 
Maybe if I give it a high five. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Nope. Nope. Get right up on top of it. Wait. Did that not work? Do I have to, like, literally be on top of it? I thought, um, thought I could do something with this. Oh, man, why did I do that? <laughs> I didn't, why did you get in my way? <laughs> I didn't mean to. Okay, so I definitely can't do anything with that. Uh, was I on the other side of this? I feel like I may have been on the other side of this. Hmm. Hmm. All right, fine. Well, if I can't go there, how do I get back? I require answers, game. I just feel like I'm going to brand new areas. You're not going to kill me, are you? Friendly? I will try not to kill you. Uh, the other guy was an accident, and I'm really sorry about that. Nope, this just keeps going on pretty much forever. Yeah, see, these are all connected. Um, but these aren't. Yeah, look at this. Well, there's something that I can do there, maybe with a future ability. That's cool. Is this another save point? Yes, it is. I mean, I'm... I like that there's a lot of save points, but I'd also like to go back. Is that possible? What are these things? Flow like the wind. Did they just attack each other? Oh, he got me. Uh, there was health over here. Yep. Yeah. Not as fast as me. Aw. Get some health out of that. Mm-hmm. Yes, look at that. Learned to fight like a boss. Um, I'm a little concerned. Oh, here we go. I don't know what this did for me, but... Oh, I, need, I need an actual charge for that. Alright, that's fine. What's over here? Let's take a look. This looks like a completely new area. <laughs> I feel like, owie, why do you have an attitude problem, fella? You need to calm down. You need to settle yourself a little bit here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. I think I passed one of these, didn't I? By the wolf guys. Yeah. These are good for you, so I'm happy that I'm building up a healthy immune system by eating fruits and vegetables. Yeah, let's grab this. Let's not forget it. A little bit of an unnecessary uh, embellishment with the music, but <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so over here we have uh, one of these things. He's trying to get in there. He's not going to have much luck. He is going to have a lot of luck um, stabbing me, though. Oh, no! I wasn't paying attention. Those slappy plants need a lesson in not slapping me. Okay, where on earth are we? Oh, hey, those are marked on my map, too. And the heart is marked on my map? Okay, well, that's cool. I'm, I'm, it's going to take me a while to get used to this map, but so far, so good. Cool. All right, well, we have uh, we have a solid episode under our belt, and uh, I think we, <laughs> we've... I'm already lost, and I love it. It's great. There's just tons of stuff to explore. This is one of the reasons I love these games so much. Um, just <laughs> running around and 
getting lost and uh, discovering all sorts of new things. So uh, I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. Uh, you know, let me know what you think. And uh, if this kind of thing interests you, I'll be posting regular videos uh, on Wednesdays and Fridays and any other day that I have free. Thanks so much for watching and join me next time.